Hey guys, welcome back. And this is like part two of this um, little pot of Hora's Death Cube. And um, so in the last video, we just sort of picked it apart as to what the what is wrong with this thing. And like all basically all the care instructions are bad. And um, yeah, it just seems like it's just sort of a gimmick, really. They just want to sell their product, right? So anyways, from the most part, when I read this here, and I'm going to read it again. I know I read it in the last video, but um, if you're just tuning in, check out the last video for everything wrong with this. But um, I grow Vestens, Vagnum Moss, or Peat Moss, and I, the, these hold lots of water. I like my home humid and moist and never let me dry out. like lots of bright light, but I do not need full sun. I also need to stay warm, so bring me inside if it gets colder than 60 Fahrenheit. If any of my traps turn brown, cut them off and grow new ones. So this is really alluding that this can be like a house plant. So my my question is, do Venus flytraps make good house plants? And what do you guys think on that? I know some of you grow under LED lights that are really bright and um, don't have any problems skipping dormancy, but I don't know how long you can do that for. So this this thing here is marketed more like a house plant than an outdoor plant, right? I bought this in a garden center, but it wasn't in the outdoor section. It was in the indoor section with the house plants. So you're going to expect to put this in the house. And no, Venus flytraps don't make good house plants, in my opinion. You don't want to sit them on a windowsill like a Venus like a house plant. Venus flytraps like full sunshine. They like 8 hours or more of full sunshine. They do like it warm in the summertime. They like it hot in the summertime, 80, 90 Fahrenheit, 25, 30 Celsius in the summertime for their daytime highs. And they can, of course, have a little drop in temperature at nighttime. It doesn't have to stay at that. And then they take seasonal cues and they're going to go dormant in the wintertime. Growing a Venus flytrap inside in one of these death cubes is kind of like trying to grow a daffodil on your windowsill all year long. It just it needs to go dormant. So... Yeah, it just Venus flytraps as house plants do not work, um, and they just don't even set you up for success in this. I'm gonna, we're gonna open this. In the last video we didn't open it. It's got little tabs that don't let me just take it out very easily. Um, well, maybe it does. I may be able to pull it out. But anyways, the pot for this guy is way too small because you need to keep it moist. It's really hard to keep a three-inch pot moist. Three inch pots full of moss are very volatile. They dry out pretty easily. And so you're gonna have it too wet and then too dry. You need to get this guy repotted into a bigger pot. I like to use at least a four inch pot. There's double or triple the amount of media volume that one of these holds. And I mean, I even have them in one gallon pots over here. Um, and they really like the one gallon pots for a Venus flytrap. So this pot is way too small for it. And chance of success with this as a house plant is basically none. Um, so it just saddens me that um, people, that companies market these as house plants. Uh, they mention they have no mention of outdoors whatsoever. So they basically talk about house temperatures and not having it colder than sixty, and dappled light but no sun. Now, if you were to put this box in the sun, you would. Um, it would definitely be a mistake as well because this would turn into a little greenhouse and it would cook in there. Remember I said um, they like it to be 80, 90 degrees. This guy, if it hits some sunshine on your windowsill or outside, this is going to be 80, 90 degrees within minutes. So this thing is, it's not going to be happy in here at all. So if you bought one of these as a house plant, please take it out of the death cube. Please repot it into some peat moss with some perlite or peat moss and some sand. Um, if you if you want to keep it in this sphagnum moss, add some perlite to that, get it in a bigger pot. Get it out of this death cube, slowly introduce it to some sunshine outside. It's summertime right now for us and it would love to get slowly introduced. This guy has never seen sunshine. He's lived in tissue culture and um, if I put him outside right now in direct sun, he would cook. So I have to introduce him to the sunshine slowly. But anyways, again, no, this is not going to make a good house plant. Please do some research on Venus flytraps before or after buying one of these death cubes. They're sort of a spontaneous purchase, right? Um, just like this one. I seen it in the store and I had to rescue it. So here we are now making a video. So hopefully you guys can rescue them too and plant them outside in your um, in some pots. But anyways, I hope you like this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, let's um, 
on the next video, rip this guy apart and get him into a happier home. But if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.